What is Pico 8? Pico 8 is what we call a fantasy console. So you might be familiar with emulators where you can load in a ROM of a console game and then you can play console games on something like your PC, right? Well, Pico 8 is something like this, except for a console that never existed. We just made it all up. We made it up. We made this one up. It's a made up tale. It's a total fabrication. A fantasy console. It looks a little bit like an NES or maybe like a Game Boy Color, but it's very different underneath. So you might be asking yourself, if it never existed, where do the games come from? Where are the games? They are made by a big, vibrant community of independent game developers, and they're usually available for free, and they are actually available right from within Pico 8. Simply bring up the Explore menu from within Pico 8, and you have access to a huge library of hundreds and hundreds of games available online. Now, some of them are great. Others maybe, maybe you need some work, but you're always in for a surprise and there is always something new and exciting every single week. But Pico 8 is a lot, a lot more. It is also a fully integrated development environment to make your own Pico 8 games. So at any given point you can just press escape and you can edit any existing game from within Pico 8. Or you can create your own games from scratch. This is the code editor. The language is Lua. It is um, quite powerful, but also very, very easy to pick up. This is the sprite editor. You only have 16 colors and 256 sprites, so you better make them count. This is what the map editor looks like. Here you can create your own levels using the sprites you've drawn. This is what the sound editor looks like. You can just use the mouse to draw your own melodies. Or speed them up to turn them into sound effects. And if you are musically inclined, you can switch into this view, which allows you to edit each individual note separately and add special effects. Finally, this is the pattern editor, and here you can combine your sound effects into your own chiptune compositions. And when you're finished with your project, your entire game gets encoded into an image of a cart. That's right, there is some kind of secret magic going on that allows Pico 8 to somehow magically squeeze all of the graphics, all of the sound effects, all of those levels into a single PNG image and allows you to share it with your friends or upload it to your website. But yeah, Pico 8 games also export into native binary files that can be played on uh, Windows, uh, Linux and Mac. And of course, they also even export into HTML5 files. So you can play Pico 8 games in your browser and you can even upload them to websites like itch.io, uh, Congregate or Newgrounds. Pico 8 is great for beginners. It is a full package, it has everything that you need to make your own games. So you don't need any Photoshop, you don't need any external text editor, you don't need Blender, you don't need to scour the asset store for assets to get started. It has everything right there. And also it gets rid of all of the craft that big development engines have. So, you know, while Unity 3D is still loading assets, you will be having your own first sprite moving on the screen already. Pico 8 is also greatly appreciated by more experienced devs. It's great as a prototyping tool to kind of like test out some new ideas. It's also great as something to use during a game jam. The platform restrictions uh, really help to keep the scope of your project nice and low. They draw out what the core idea of your game is. And there are actually quite a lot of uh, independent, successful independent games that started out as Be Create projects. But the restrictions are kind of like delightful in themselves. So a lot of experienced devs try to squeeze in as much as possible into a single Pico 8 cart. Others try to like demake already existing games into Pico 8 projects. Others still try to squeeze in, you know, entire project, Pico 8 project into a single tweet. It's a whole thing, uh, hashtag tweet cards, look it up, it's amazing. I would maybe consider myself a more experienced game developer and Pico 8 kind of broke uh, a lot of uh, professional game development engines for me. Just to give like an idea of one single feature, uh, at any point when you're using Pico 8, whether you are editing something or you are actually playing a game, you can just press a button 
and it will save a GIF of the last couple of seconds to the desktop. It's that easy to share your work. Pico 8 is not open source, uh, it is not free. Uh, it is made by an Australian bloke currently living in Tokyo. His name is Zep, and he is very, very sweet. So he charges us 15 bucks for Pico 8, and I think everybody in the community will agree that this is the best way you can spend 15 bucks on software these days. But while Pico 8 is not free, most of the games are free. So you can just visit lexlove.com and you can play all of the games there in the browser for free to see yourself if you like it or not. And yeah, that's basically it. I hope you have now a better idea of what Pico 8 is. And if you still have any lingering questions, you can just ask them downstairs in the comment section. And yes, this channel just so happens to have a lot of tutorials that will help you get started with your own exciting Pico 8 projects. So yeah, I hope to see you next time. Bye bye guys.